Hi everyone, welcome back to Study OT with Sophie. This week's topic is on hands, specifically on sensory innervation and joint motion. You're probably wondering why my hand is all colored. Well, I would suggest getting three different markers for this activity. Yes, you'll need three different markers, that way you'll know which sensory innervation your hand is part of. I know it looks funny, or, oh, forgot to mention this earlier. You can use a glove to do the same thing. It's just, you know, um, when you color the glove and you decide to touch things without realizing that the glove is colored on, it could transfer over to your wall. It could transfer over to things that have white coloring. Um, for instance, I'm wearing white pants and I wouldn't want that to get dirty. I'm really trying hard not to touch a lot of things with my hand because <laughs> I have a lot of white items and uh, so far I've touched my lamp that requires light touch and I forgot that I had the hand colored. Um, yeah, I ended up with green because that's what my finger has, the pointer finger has of course. We'll start off with joint motions. All right, this is the wrist at neutral position, okay? Not like this, but like this. We're gonna leave it at neutral position. You see, this is not an extension or flexion movement. Zero degrees. Now, you bring the hand up, all the way in extension. That's called extension. Then bring it back down all the way that is called flexion this is basic joint motion of the wrist okay now bring it back neutral now i'm going to bring it to the side so you could see what the ulnar deviation and the radial deviation looks like so since this is my opposite side you know what i'm going to turn it this way so what you're going to do is you're going to bring your hand towards the right side of the body that's called the radial deviation right side of the body is radial deviation okay remember that if you're stuck on the exam and you forgot what the name was because you were having anxiety now you know what it's called this is called the ulnar deviation we know that ulnar deviation is um, not the most liked movement especially arthritis which can cause more damage to the joint. Now, if you still didn't have a chance to color in your hand, you can do it now while I talk, okay? So, the this color over here, purple, it looks like pink purple. I know it's not the best color, but here is my color that I used. Anyways, um, this is the posterior view. And this is the anterior view, okay? Remember those names, posterior or anterior. Posterior is the back side of the hand and anterior is the front side. Ulnar is on the purple side. Okay, so it covers half the ring finger and mostly the pinky on the posterior side. And in the anterior side, it also covers the middle half of the ring finger and the pinky fully. The red one is the radial nerve, here as well, it's half the thumb part on the bottom. Before we get into the median nerve, I want to discuss the different types of joints. Here I have different parts of the joints that are written, so I'm going to go over just the four joints here, not the thumb, okay? Let's leave the thumb out for this video. We'll go into it next time. Um, the first one is M. The second one is P. The last one is D. So there's a hint I want you to keep in mind when you're stuck during the test. M, P, D. So how do you remember that? Or how do you remember the joints, right? M, P, D. What does it stand for? This is what comes to mind, at least to me, when... I'm stuck with certain joints or certain things, especially when it comes to taking the board exam, right? Or any exam. Or even for learning experience, when you're talking to somebody, 
you want to remember the joints. I want you to take your right hand, write the letters out, M, P, D, okay? So remember this mnemonic, Miami Police Department, okay? Miami Police Department. Now, the M is metacarpal phalange joint. Remember the fist, okay? The P is proximal interphalange joint. Then the D is distal interphalange joints, okay? Distal. All four fingers have Miami Police Department. Remember that, Miami Police Department. Let's go back to the median nerve, which is the green. It covers the middle finger, the pointer finger, and half of the thumb. And here it covers from the DIP joint of the middle finger. Then it covers from the DIP of the pointer finger. Here it covers like halfway of the internal part of the thumb. If you think about it. Okay. And on the ring finger, it covers half of the DIP. See that? But not fully, half of the DIP. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. I know that a lot of students had questions in regards to the joints, um, having difficulty memorizing it. I hope my mnemonic helped. I know this video was really short. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.